Hello, in this video we will be solving this problem. We have to solve for x. We are given an equation. We have to solve for x. The given equation is 8x cubed plus 2x squared minus 15x is equal to 0. We have to find out the values of x. As you can see here x is common in all the three terms. So take x outside. Okay. x into 8x squared plus 2x minus 15 is equal to 0. Now let us check whether we can factorize this 8x squared plus 2x minus 15 you know. That one we will see whether we could factorize it. So we will do it separately plus 2x minus 15 is equal to 0. Now here you have 8, here you have minus 15. So you should find now two numbers whose product is minus 120, 8 into minus 15, minus 120. Find two numbers such that the product is minus 120 and the sum is 2. We have to find out two such numbers. We will have to try. Okay. So minus 120, we will have to just look for those two numbers. We have to find out the product should be minus 120 for the two numbers. The product of the two numbers should be minus 120 and the sum should be 2 for the two numbers. We have uh, such numbers 12 and minus 10. See. This 12 and minus 10 when you multiply you get minus 120 and the sum of these two 12 minus 10 is 2 that's what we want now you rewrite this equation okay rewrite that equation like this that is this 2x here no that you write as 12x minus 10x and here you can see 8x squared plus 12x you can take 4x common for these two terms okay and uh, here you can take say um, minus 5 common between these two terms minus 5 is common you can take it out now you can see 2x plus 3 here 2x plus 3 here that again is common you can take it out right equate it to 0 so we are factorizing this anyhow we equate it to 0 right that is after factorizing this x as it is this 8x squared plus 2x minus 15 you know that is written as 4x minus 5 into 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 here x can be 0 4x minus 5 can be 0 2x plus 3 can be 0 so one solution is straight away up we are obtaining x is 0 the second one 4x minus 5 is 0 that means 4x is equal to 5 x is equal to 5 by 4 so second solution also we have got so first solution x is equal to 0 second solution x is equal to minus 5 uh, sorry x is equal to 5 by 4 then again this can be 0 2x plus 3 can be 0 so 2x can be minus 3 that is 2x is minus 3 x is minus 3 by 2 so we got all the three values x is 0 x is 5 by 4 x is minus 3 by 2 x is 0 we can easily check if, if x is 0 0 into anything is 0 so equation is satisfied so first one easily you can verify now we will check whether this value is correct substitute x as 5 by 4 in the given equation simplify and see whether we are getting uh, the value equal to 0 so check x is equal to 5 by 4 substitute x is equal to 5 by 4 in equation 1 
okay so x is 5 by 4 means 8x square x is 5 by 4 for this x we have to put this 5 by 4 8 x square plus 2 x minus 15 8 x square that is 25 by 16 plus 2 x 2 into x x is 5 by 4 we are checking whether this value is correct whether this value satisfies the equation so minus 15 this minus 15 as it is 8 and 16 you know you can cancel by 2 2 and 4 again you can cancel by 2 so this is 25 by 2 this is 5 by 2 25 by 2 is 12.5 5 by 2 is 2.5 right proceed like this or you can take this as LCM 2 as LCM here 25 plus 5 30 30 by 2 15 plus 15 minus 15 it is 0 ok therefore x is equal to 5 by 4 is a solution because it satisfies the given equation so we have checked the x is 0 is a correct solution x is equal to 5 by 4 is a solution then what is left out x is equal to minus 3 by 2 whether it is a solution or not we will have to check by substitution substituting in this equation minus 3 by 2 okay that is x into 8 x square x is minus 3 by 2 you know x square will be minus 3 by 2 whole square so 9 by 4 plus 2x so 2x into sorry 2x so 2 into minus 3 by 2 2 into minus 3 by 2 this minus 15 as it is minus 15 as it is now you simplify uh, 8 and 4 here so you can cancel by 4 so this will be 18 2 2 will cancel so minus 3 so 18 minus 3 is plus 15 here there is minus 15 so add up to 0 0 multiplied by anything is 0 similarly here also so this happens to be 0 so 0 multiplied by anything is 0 here also this happens to be 0 so 0 multiplied by anything is 0 so the solution are this is verified hence the solutions are x is equal to 0 x is equal to 5 by 4 x is equal to minus 3 by 2 ok thank you